Hello. So, um, I thought as we're not seeing each other for a bit, I thought I'd make a little finger picking video for you to have a little go at. So bear in mind that the real version, now I've looked into it a bit, is um, quite a bit more complicated because you've got that kind of alternate picking with the thumb either jumping or doing it with like four fingers, you know, and moving around quite a bit, which is complicated when you're getting used to finger picking. And also be aware that in the chorus, you've got different chords going on. Um, which are very, very pretty. They're variations, basically, on, on what's happening already. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Just bear that in mind when you're listening to it. It's, it's a bit more complicated than what we're going to do. So, so to keep in the rhythm with that, what we're going to try doing is the basic pick's going to be... Um, yeah. doing basically your bass note which is going to be the same string as the name of the chord so if we're playing A minor the bass note is going to be the A string okay and then what you're going to do is if you imagine this bass note or the root note as it's also called yeah it's going to be filling in every time you play a string so it starts off as well so you're going to be going bass note and then the yeah, sort of not the two highest strings, but G and B. So you're going to be going A string, G string, back to the A, and then to the B string. And when you pick as well, you're going to be with the thumb, and if you can see, okay, but you're going to be picking like sort of this sort of sideways motion, and if you can see better from this angle, here, like that. And then with the, the other one, you're going to be picking sort of up like this yeah so you're picking up and away can't see that there obviously but yeah so yeah you're doing a sort of um a string g string picking up back to the a and then picking up on the b and you repeat that that's one time and then do it again So twice and then three times and then four times okay so that's the pattern for each one and it will stay the same when you move over to the C so we're going into our C chord and then we're doing the same thing but we're picking A G A B A G A B four times as well So with the D, we're going to change these fingers up a little bit. So you're going into D minor, okay? And you're going to be because D is our lowest D. We have to do we have to change it up a little bit. So we're going to do D, and then we're picking the B and the E string. Same same pattern, exactly the same pin pattern. So pin um, D B D E, and you're going to do that. Three more times. Okay. And then remember the F and G in the verse is, is halved, isn't it? So it's less than normal amount. So you're going to be twice on the F and twice on the G. Same sort of pattern though. So you're moving to F. And you're going to be doing the same as with the D minor. So you're doing D string, B, D. lowest G is all the way down here on the E string so again we're going to shift everything up a bit and then you're doing same pattern again bass note G well sorry on the E string so E D E G and four times and again oh sorry not four times twice sorry my bad so i'll play that whole section for you so you can see okay so i'm only using these three fingers thumb for the bass note and then these these two for the other two strings okay so i'll walk you through it from the beginning so we're going 
We're in the A minor position and we're going to go A, G, I'm playing the name of the strings, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B. Okay, and then moving into the C position, same thing again, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, B, last one. So if I haven't counted correctly, it's four for each. And then we're moving into D minor and your thumb moves down to the D string. And then we're playing D, B and E. So D, B, D. position D B D E D B D E and then to the G so you just need actually one finger on on the third fret on the E string for this and then playing D and G here E D E G E D E G okay um yeah I think we'll probably leave it there for now because that's already quite a lot to be getting on with I think um, but yeah just to know that basically the other the other chords that um, are played in the bridgey bit before you get to the chorus is A minor um, and then it goes to you yeah, add on your little finger onto the third fret on A and then you go to an F where you bring that around, you keep your A minor position. And then you go to G. Yeah. That's the bit with this, um, howling at the waves, that bit. Okay, and then once you're back in your, back in your chorus, you're gonna do the same finger pa picking pattern that you had, um, just with different chords. But I'll not go into that now because I'm quite aware this is getting into a long video. So <laughs> good luck with that. Okay, bye.